Today our Konağımızı guest is parliamentary candidate Badu Badoğlu, nominated for Naryman of second election constituency number 20. Welcome to our studio. Thank you. AKJP Müsavaz and Karabakh Bloc supports Badu Badoğlu in this parliamentary election. How is the election campaign going on? To my mind, everything is normal, but I especially rely on social investment, the experience which I have gained and the public support in this process. I hold election campaign on this ground. Unlike me, my opponents rely on financial investment. Their election campaigns are more expensive in comparison with mine. The basis of the in financial investments of some of my opponents are the dirty money. To my mind, people should be able to differentiate the social and financial investments. I suppose the electors won't accept to entrust five-year advocacy in exchange for concerts today allowances. What are the main orders of the electorate, public, humanitarian, social or political orders? I was nominated in a very strange election constituency. There is great contrast in this election constituency. As you know, Millionaire's district is located here, and at the same time, the population of Western Azerbaijan are also living in this district in bad conditions. From this point of view, I get various orders. For example, their main problems are related with employment, unemployment, bad living conditions. In Maksud Azad Street, in one side lives live prayers. On the other side, the rates. We are not able to get in touch with millionaires, but we meet pure people continuously, regularly. Their main orders are related with social issues, but there are also people from Western Azerbaijan possessing political views and they would like to live in a democratic, free and live prosperously. Door to door campaign is a very essential part of the election. Do you knock the door of millionaires? Yes, of course, but, but they haven't answered us because they live in your life. They have monitors and web cameras on their doors and don't answer the people whom they don't know. So we haven't spent much time on this, but we have met a lot of people and they accepted us very well. We discuss various issues and they share their problems with us. One of the great problems was related to human rights. The destruction of the houses is one of the important issues. The people complain of the harms caused by officials building new apartments. We were investigating economical social issues theoretically, but the practice showed that there are also other problems which can be investigated by talking people. For example, it was mentioned that 920,000 new workplaces were opened, but we observed unemployment very much, especially among the youth. What about daily life orders related to gas with risk problems? Such problems were in the first place for a time. But and even it was important than Karabakh problem. Can you, what can you say related to this issue? To my mind, it has not changed in my constituency. People still have such problems. Especially they have problems related to public utilities. Most of the people have a lot of debts, especially after the global crisis. I knew that debt problems were not solved, but now it's observed in mass. I hadn't imagined that people live in such bad conditions. They have lots of debts for public utilities. Their income doesn't meet their needs. So I consider that these problems are still ahead of other ones. Another uh, of course, we discuss Karabakh problem with intellectuals. They still remember this issue. Have local authority officials, police interfered your mass meeting with the electors? How can you value the general situation? Neither local authority officials nor police have interfered our meetings. We had meetings in such places which are permitted by Baku executive authority. And we are lucky because there are a lot of places for meeting with electors in Nermanov district. 
there are 15 places in this district. Nine of them are closed and six are open. We mainly paid with anti propaganda the election campaign protests were done. We wanted to propagate the process of only one candidate, especially, especially independent owners are afraid of Sticking the photos of independent candidates on their shop and so on. The photos of all candidates are torn and we have refused to update them because it has no meaning. We glue photos in the morning, but they are torn by the evening. Some candidates distribute uniform, uh, school uniforms, food products, etc. As you know, my opponents are very rich, and although it's illegal to do such things, we observe such cases frequently. Of course, there were some complaints to the Central Election Commission, Election Constituency. Have they taken any measures related to this? We made complaint to Central Election Commission and Election Committee related protests being torn and illegal election campaigns. And we were told that these complaints are in the hearing. Also, Central Election Commission applies to the law enforcement bodies related to these problems. It seems that they don't take any measures as are not interested in this issue. What can you say about election financial issues? Have the businessmen or other people finance your election campaign? I got financial support in 2005 elections, but in 2010 parliamentary elections I get political and moral support. It's pity that I couldn't get financial support for this election. I rely on my own resources and social investment. A lot of people support and assist us voluntarily. These people have enough practice. We have no problems in collecting foul words, but we have problems with protecting them. That's why we try to have at least two observers in polling stations as a member of election commission by the consent of Central Election Commission. Thank you for coming to our studio. Today, our guest was Badi Badoğlu.